What's going on guys? Welcome back to another damn fishing attic video. We're again at call. It's still early season, so we kind of stay at the home dam. Got everybody here today. We got here to the ramp. Um, John and Caleb actually got here about 5.45 this morning and the ramp is already packed. Seeing a few small fish, nothing big yet. I just got here. We were up late making hoodies and stuff. So anyway, they got this old dam rolling. We're gonna get down here and see if any big fish have got stirred up and moved around. See if we can't get a few, stay with us. All right guys, we'll be getting a lot of requests about how we rig up. This is how I rig up. I'm gonna have the other guys make some videos on how they rig up. Cause everybody ties a little different. There's no perfect way or right way. I mean, as long as you get the hook above the weight and pulling in a straight line, that's pretty much all you need. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I tie up. Go ahead and hook this on my pocket here. Put that in there. Got my line here. First thing I do is make a loop. Then I'm gonna tie it over. Just tie, just tie a loop. And the reason I do this is because if I want to switch weights, I can switch weights real fast without having to cut my line and retie or anything like that. I'm just gonna bring it through the eye, the loop through the eye, and bring it right around the weight. And there your weight's set on there. And then, like I said, now you can switch it out if you wanna go up or down. I'm gonna let it down probably about a foot. I use my hook to pull a belly in there, another loop. Stick that loop right through the eye. Then I'm just gonna wrap it. The number of times you wrap it really doesn't matter. I just wrap it a few times. Mainly you're just getting the length here of how far you want your weight from your hook when you wrap it. So I'm just gonna wrap it a few times, get it about where I like it. Now I'm gonna stick my weight back through the loop. And then that'll pull straight up, half hitch, flip it over two of the barbs. And there you go, that's gonna pull straight. That's how I tie my ring. Like I said, I'm Caleb and Jason's on. Let's get over, Caleb. Let's see if we can't get a triple going. Uh huh? See if we can't get a triple going. I'll do it again beside you.
warmed up ready, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Jason, no, on camera, you can't smoke. I'm about to be on the boat for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. <laughs> John warming up and snagging on. Here comes the boat. Kids don't smoke. Uh. <clears throat> Watch this not even be the guy I'm sitting here recording some random guy <laughs> that's just going crappie fishing. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. We are down here on call today snagging. We're going to be going out with the real good time guide service guide today, the one that broke all the world records. See if we can't find a big one on call today. Uh, super excited about this trip this is something we've all talked about for a long time is using my boat and coming out here on call and snagging because we knew there were some big ones in here but we're waiting for my boat to get out of the shop so we figure why not hire the best guide the one that's broke all the records and see if we can't break one on call so anyway we're gonna get down here to the ramp the guys are already down here but anyway, we're gonna get down here and see what we can get. Gentlemen, let me get this boat or truck out of the way. Sure. Jason. That's Jason. John. John. Yep. Caleb. Caleb. Cody. Cody. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Alright. Jason's here. John's here. City boy's here. City boy. <laughs> Good old Caleb. <laughs> We'll look at the size of that screen. Uh -huh. What do y'all think? Excited? I'm, excited. I'm, I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm pumped and I think we ought to I'm just trying to figure to out how things. we all fit. <laughs> I don't know y'all. <laughs> well, Kayla can sit on the front shoulder. As door. most of y'all know, we ain't tiny guys. <laughs> and that's a 20 footer. <laughs> <laughs> this could get interesting. <laughs> picture with on camera with her? That ain't nothing to too proud of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say I think we got a bunch of video on pictures of those. We'll see if we can't yeah. find a bigger one. Oh, Jason. Good job, man. Enjoys the fight. It's a habit. There she is. Fun spot. Because then they got all their power. 
140's been it real quick. <laughs> Thing three. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. The drawing for the reel will be Friday, March 12th. We're going to go ahead and do the drawing on Friday. That way the winner, if you are local, you'll be able to meet us down here at the dam. Or if you're not, maybe you can still want to meet us here at the dam. We'll do a video, um, hand deliver that reel to you. So again, Friday, March 12th, we'll do the drawing. And hopefully we'll meet the winner Saturday or Sunday. Um, we'll set all that up whenever we find out who the winner is going to be um we had an absolute blast with real good time guide service unfortunately just with the weather and the wind and everything we just weren't able to find them big fish we told him he gave us the option at the beginning of the trip whether we wanted to put numbers on the boat or search for that big big fish we chose to search for that big big fish he did everything he could to put us on one we just we were able to find a few and we were able to get on the one um the other fish were still good fish, um, especially when you're down here at the dam only catching 20 pounders. Those other ones were definitely good. We are already setting up another trip to go with him on Keystone in May, so be looking out for that video. And anyway, good luck on the drawing. Hopefully everybody's getting entered. Again, we're going to draw for it Friday, March 12th, and hopefully next time we'll be seeing you at the dam. Mm -hmm.